What's up, honeys? Hey, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with another mother freaking video. I have a whole bunch. I have Aspen. Aspen. Ain't no gas, shoot a bass, honey. Fine ass in a pig. Had to get a text from me. Loving how they go sit on your neck, honey. That gold chain is on your neck. I love the way you dress. Got a nigga so impressed. Come out to the west. You say that's a okay, y'all. So today I'm here with a haul for y'all. Yeah, <laughs> this haul today is not closed. Nothing like that, y'all. It's body wash. This for my girls that care about like skin care, smelling good, all that. So if you're trying to get into it, I got some good sense for y'all. I was just gonna call it a Bath and Body Works haul, but I can't really call it that because I have a mix of brands, and y'all, I don't know what it is. I have an obsession with body washes. Like I don't know. I just always feel like I have to have some new body washes, some new smells, because my smell, how I want to smell for the day, depends on the kind of mood that I'm in, y'all. I got like a hundred, five hundred, six different personalities so yeah I need a body wash to fit each of my personalities and each of my moods so I have like over 20 body washes right here I'm about to go through and I'm not gonna necessarily say rate them for y'all but I'm gonna tell y'all what kind of smell it gives you know just to give y'all some ideas of new scents that y'all might want to try y'all might not like it based on the description that I give y'all and so y'all don't have to go waste y'all money in the store like I'm gonna let y'all know right now what's up with these scents y'all I'm just gonna, you know, start by picking up one. I'm gonna close my eyes. Of course, I picked up the biggest one. This one is by Soft Soap. It's juicy pomegranate and mango. Uh, it might not focus. <laughs> Y'all feel like I'm on a commercial. <laughs> Y'all, this smells so good. I really, really like this one because it has bees in it to exfoliate your skin. Yes, you will actually feel a difference when you get out the shower after using this. And it smells like... It smells like pomegranate. It's like I don't really smell the mango, but I really smell the pomegranate. It just smells so sweet, so girly, but yet yeah, so grown woman and then just so feminine. I don't know. Like I would love to be up under my man with that one. Next one I have is Luminous Oils by Soft Soap. Y'all, this one right here is the truth. If you want soft, silky skin, this right here will take you there. I promise. Like your skin is just gonna feel so so soft like you can literally just glide your hand across your skin like it smells really good too let me see i have to remember y'all yeah it's like a it's like a soft baby powder smell but it has coconut oil in it and it's probably why it just makes you feel so soft like you can really really feel the coconut oil so the next one i have is by caress it's tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk this one right here i haven't used yet obviously but i know it does have bees in it like i can see bees that are supposed to exfoliate your skin but i know caress is a really really good brand for like softening skin let me see what it smells like mm, it smells like pomegranate again like the first one that i had but this one is just like more mild it just has like a softer smell and a softer touch to it Okay, so this next one that I have is an aromatherapy body wash by Bath and Body Works, and it's to help you go to sleep at night. I've only used this a few times. I don't necessarily remember if it actually did help me go to sleep, but it does have lavender in it, lavender and vanilla. So I'm assuming I probably did, but I don't know. I also have a lavender spray. It doesn't make me go to sleep, but it does help me sleep better when I do go to sleep. As far as the smell, it smells like lavender. Like, if you know the lavender scent gives, that's what this gives. I feel like this could work either way for men or for women. Like, it doesn't have a feminine side, and it doesn't just have a strong masculine side either. But you kind of get both with this body wash. So, the next one I have is by Dove. It's a sensitive skin body wash. This one is probably just pretty familiar to everybody. It doesn't really have a smell. All of these body washes in these brands, you're going to hear me say, they all make your skin soft because this one definitely does, along with the rest of them, too. I mean, I don't really have much to say about this one, but it is, oh, I just got some on my nose. But it is pretty good if you want soft skin, but you know, you can't really just use a whole bunch of scented body washes. This one doesn't harm your skin at all. 
The next one I have is in the same line by Dove, but it's the gentle exfoliating one. I haven't used this one yet, but by the picture, I can see that it has beads in it. Of course, if it says that it exfoliates, it says it's cruelty free. I don't know, I've never really tested this on my skin, but I will use it one day. It kind of smells like the Sensitive Dove, the one that I just showed y'all. It kind of smells like that one. I'ma try this one out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna do me good. The next one I have is by Soft Soap, Lustrous Glow Body Wash. I can't really tell if these are beads. Let me see. They look like bubbles, but oh no, those are definitely beads. This one has beads too. Oh yeah, it says exfoliated body wash on the bottom. So this one has beads in it. And as far as the smell, scent is amber and honey. Yeah, I like it. I love this. It's like a summertime smell, like sweet by the beach. Like it gives me that feel. But you can never go wrong with something that has honey in it. <laughs> this is a body wash in the Dove line. It's relaxing, so I guess it's another one that's supposed to make you go to sleep. It has lavender oil and Camille in it. Camille? Camille. It smells just like lavender. <laughs> It smells just like lavender. Again, like the Bath and Body Works one that I showed y'all, the aromatherapy. I feel like this one could go either way for men or for women. It doesn't smell too feminine, doesn't smell too masculine. The next one that I have is Bath and Body Works. It is Cotton Candy Clouds. I'm using this one right now. It's probably one of my favorites, like definitely one of my favorites because it just smells so sweet and it makes you feel like a kid. Like, let me show y'all the label. The way the label looks is the way that this body wash will make you feel. Like for real, it just makes you feel like you in the clouds, like you a kid, like you just running around having fun. I love this body wash. It's so sweet and so airy. Like I don't know how to describe it, but you gotta go and get this. Go get it. And the next one that I have is by Bath and Body Works. It's called Black Raspberry Van Vanilla. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm not a fan of it. I know it looks like I've used a lot, but honestly, I'm not the only person who's used this. I've had guests. I don't really like it. Like, I've tried to become acquainted with it. I really just can't. Like, I'm just not a big fan of it. So, I'm not gonna recommend that y'all get this. But, if you like to smell like a grandma, go get it. Okay, because that's exactly what it makes you smell like. The next one is by Dove. It's for dryness relief, and it has Joe. Jojoba oil, <laughs> hoba hoba oil, <laughs> that right there. I haven't used this before, but I'm excited to use it. I don't have dry skin, but I mean, if I don't have dry skin and it's for dry skin, if it has oils in it for that, I must be finna be more moisturized. Like, I can't wait to use this one. I'm finna see what it smells like though. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells so good, like it gives grown woman, okay? The next one I have is by Bath and Body Works and it's called One in a Million. And I really, really like this. I'm using it right now. You know what, Um, what's, it's like a classic Bath and Body Works scent and I'm trying to think of the name of it. I don't freaking know. I'ma find it and I'ma put it on the screen because it's like at the tip of my tongue. It reminds me of like a classic Bath and Body Works smell. Like it's just real classic. Like I hope they keep this one forever. I don't know how long they've had this one out, but I'm new to it. I just discovered it like two months ago. But yeah, this one is really, really sweet. I like it. The next one is Sunshine Mimosa by Bath and Body Works. Let me tell y'all, I hate this line, um, this line's perfume, like the body mist, I cannot smell, I cannot stand. But this body wash smells really good. It smells like oranges. Like, I don't know, I guess because it's like sunshine mimosa, duh. Mm, I love it. I love it. It's just so sweet. It's just so cute. The next one is Happy Vibes. So this one, I don't know. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. The way it looks is not the way that it smells. It smells more masculine than it does feminine. I know that's kind of weird, but it smells more masculine than it does feminine. I, I did not expect it. And honestly, I smelled it in the store before I bought it. But you know how it is in Bath and Body Works. It's just so many scents around. You really don't know what you're smelling. What I smell in the store is not what I'm smelling right now. It smells like a man, but like a sweet man. So I'm okay with it, but at the same time, it's not my first choice. My next one is Sun Kiss. This is one of my favorites. It almost has the same lip, the same label as Happy Vibes. Let me show y'all. This is Happy Vibes. This is Sun Kiss. 
So their labels are kind of identical, but they smell completely different. Yeah, this one just smells like I'm supposed to be by the pool. It doesn't smell like pool water, but it smells like I'm supposed to be by the pool, laid up with a drink and something like that. Just real classy, real relaxing. So I really, really like this. It's very sweet. The next one is Golden Ocean Pearl. I have not used this one, obviously. I really forgot I had this one. But it's giving me, y'all know how I said one in a million was giving me like a classic Bath and Body Works smell. That's what this is kind of giving me. It's kind of reminding me of Sweet Pea, like an enhanced Sweet Pea. That's what this is reminding me of. If you know, you know. So I really don't have to say too much after I say Sweet Pea. <laughs> but yeah, this one smells pretty good. This one is Hibiscus Paradise. Um, I don't exactly remember what this one smells like. Let me see. Mmm, I might start using this tonight. I don't know, it's real, real sweet. Mmm, I love it. I just love it. Now this smells like something that would put me to sleep. Like this is something, even though it says, it doesn't say that it has lavender in it, it relaxes me, like it just calms me. Like this smells really, really good. I might start using this one tonight. I don't know why I haven't cracked this one open. The next one that I have, I've already done this one. Yeah, I have two of the relaxing doves. I have a problem, okay? The next one that I have, I've already done this one. I got two of the sensitive skin doves <laughs> is Midnight Swim. You know what? The name is very, very fitting. Just say you were to go on the beach at two o'clock in the morning, like on some lonely stuff. I don't know. That's what this smells like. It sounds kind of weird, don't it? Like it smells like water, but sweet. Like it doesn't smell like stinking water. It smells like clean water. I guess if you just want to feel refreshed or something like that, use this. Next is Cucumber Melon. Y'all, y'all can see I'm pretty geek. This is one of my favorites. I have I have a whole bunch of these because if I ever run out, my feelings will be so hurt. This one smells so freaking good. This might be one of the best scents by Bath & Body Works. Cucumber Melon, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the lotion. You cannot go wrong with the body scrub. You cannot go wrong with the perfume. And y'all know usually Bath & Body Works, each one smells different. This line is very, very consistent. That's why I'm a fan of it. Like I get the same feeling with each product that I use. So y'all, go get you some Cucumber Melon. Trust me. Trust your girl, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lead you in the wrong direction. If you don't buy anything from this haul, buy a cucumber melon. And this is another one of my favorites. <laughs> it's Champagne Toast. Now y'all, I'm not a fan of the Champagne Toast candle. I'm not a fan of the Champagne Toast body mist. But the body wash is just giving grown and sexy all the way around. Like this is what I use when I'm about to go out. And you can actually smell it once you get done. Once you get out the shower. Two hours later, if I do like that, I can smell champagne toast. It smells really good. It's giving grown and sexy all the time. Like you can't go wrong with this one. And it just looks expensive. Like look at it. Look at the bottle. The next one that I have is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Oh, this one smells like bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum. Yeah, I like this one. I haven't used it. I forgot I had it. It smells really good. It's really sweet, really, really girly. That's all you need to know about this one. If you want to smell like a complete girly girl, like you walk around with your hair in pigtails and you suck on suckers, yeah, that's this. With your mini skirt, go get this. Oh, I thought cucumber melon was my favorite, but I don't know. Cucumber melon and then pink watermelon really, really neck and neck. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if I had to choose one, I might go with pink watermelon instead. I kind of forgot about pink watermelon while I was over here hyping cucumber melon up. Pink watermelon is for the girls. Pink watermelon is for the girls. And just like cucumber melon, this scent is very consistent throughout the whole line. So with the body spray, with the, um, even if you get the hand soap, like all of it is very consistent. You're gonna get the same amount of oils, you're gonna get the same amount of scent, and it's gonna be long lasting for each product. You cannot go wrong with pink watermelon. It's just real sweet, real girly, real fresh. Like that's how I like to describe it. And that's how I be feeling most of the time. So I'll use up some cucumber melon, champagne toast, but I'll also use up some um, pink watermelon as well. The next one is pink chiffon. This is for my girls who's just like real shy, 
but real sweet on the inside you know you got an alter ego and stuff like that this is for you like when you walk into a room you see but you ain't gotta say nothing this is for you you don't even have to acknowledge nobody in the room they see you before you walk in like go get you some pink chiffon because baby they gonna smell you too but they gonna be like mm. like they gonna you gonna get a little you gonna get a little respect just by your scent baby with the pink chiffon it's real sweet real girly but not doing too much but just enough this is one of my favorites by dove it's a rejuvenating one it has pomegranate and hibiscus in it it smells so good and it just has your skin so soft all the time it also i think it has beads in it actually it doesn't mm, but it just smells like heaven it just smells like heaven could soak in this all freaking day i love it i'm gonna probably use this on my kids too because i would love to just be holding my baby well not an infant infant but you know what i'm saying i just be loving to hold my kids and just smell them like and they smell like this like this just makes me want to be in love i don't know the last one is also by caress it's shea butter and brown sugar now if you're my people of color i don't gotta explain nothing to y'all about the shea butter and the brown sugar combo like y'all get it y'all already know what this smell like y'all already know this smell like your mama y'all already know this smell like home you already know this smell like a sunday morning caress did they thing with this one i love it i love it i love it but if you've never used it definitely go and get it it also has beads in it and it also exfoliates your skin very very well and i don't know what y'all shower with i'm not in y'all business like that i'm not in y'all house but get you a loofah with these body washes because a loofah is just gonna definitely change the game with these body washes uh, you're gonna notice a completely difference besides using a towel you can't go wrong with this one either this is just giving mama okay that's all for this video i also have a few body washes that i didn't feel the need to bring into the haul because i just personally not a favorite at all like i wouldn't even bring that to y'all attention but these are kind of like my favorites and then some of them i'm kind of borderline with but i hope i gave y'all some really good advice on these soaps i hope y'all found some some new ones that you might want to try or something like that make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and let me know what y'all want to see next okay bye honey